What's up guys, more Medic One and today we are going to go over tank vents and why they're important. What are some of the symptoms of a bad tank vent? Because a tank vent can fail either on the suction side or the pressure side and the symptoms are different when the tank vent decides to fail on whatever it's on, the suction or the pressure. So let's go. Now this tank vent just happens to be on a steel four mix, uh, but all the two strokes have this style of vent as well. Sometimes they just vent it through to the atmosphere and sometimes they vent it to be routed through the intake air cleaner here. As you can see, this one has a little hose that connects to the vent on this one here. And then whenever you put the vent or the air filter on and while this thing is running it's constantly venting through this little brass fitting here you can quickly and easily test this vent just remove the air filter and get you a pressure and vacuum gauge and just hook you up a length of fuel line to the vent here when you introduce pressure to this one-way check valve or tank vent your meter or your gauge should pressure up momentarily you can pressure you can pump it pump it pump it and you can get some pressure in there but it should fall back to zero immediately. Now let's apply a suction to the check valve. And when we pump it, we should be pulling a vacuum and it should hold steady. So far, this tank vent is testing okay, but let's take it a step further and just go ahead and test the whole complete fuel system. So we're gonna put the gas cap back on and I'm gonna slide the carburetor on temporarily. All I've done is slid the carburetor over the studs here and I hooked up the fuel inlet side to the carburetor and we are going to leave the uh, return line free because this is where we're going to put our uh, vacuum tester. With our vacuum gauge hooked to the return side of our fuel system and when we apply pressure and it could take several pumps because you have a lot of surface area or uh, uh, area inside the tank to fill up with pressure. pump it up, pump it up to about seven to 10 PSI and let it stabilize and it should hold. If it does not hold and your needle starts dropping to zero, then you have issues with possible fuel lines. You have the O-ring here, the fuel grommet, you have an O-ring on the check valve itself, or the check valve or tank vent is faulty. You're also checking to make sure that the seal around the O-ring on the gas cap is good, and you can also test the integrity of the needle and seat in the carburetor, because now you have 10 PSI pumped up in this carburetor, and if the needle and seat was not holding, then fuel would just be pouring out of this carburetor. And the last test, we want to pull a vacuum on the system here, and it should creep to zero. So basically in layman's terms, all this valve does is let the atmosphere into the tank, but doesn't let 
any pressure or fuel vapors or liquid fuel out of the fuel tank. Now, if this fails and it doesn't allow the atmosphere to vent into the tank, what's going to happen is when this engine's running, the carburetor fuel pump is going to try to pull a vacuum on the inside of the tank and it depends because if you if your fuel level is down here and you run it it's going to take a long time for it to pull enough vacuum to actually make it to where it can't suck fuel however if you fill the tank up all the way and then run it it's going to act like it's running out of gas a whole lot quicker so basically if it can't vent like i said the fuel pump's trying to pump pulling a vacuum on the inside of the tank and it's just like you just clamp, cramped off clamp, crimped off the fuel line here just like that if you can't get this paint to vent properly so if you're getting one and you know you're trying to diagnose a runnability issue it's always a good idea to just throw your gauge on here and just test the fuel system before we start doing you know uh carburetor r and r's and doing other further diagnostics if we can't if the fuel system's not in check then you need to stop right there until that portion of it's fixed and if the check valve fails to hold the pressure in the tank in then you're going to get liquid fuel coming right out of this pipe and liquid fuel pouring right out of that little nipple right there like i said all righty guys we got this little four mix fuel system worked out and uh hey if this helped you out give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button and while you're there like always click that bell so you'll get all my new videos y'all have a good rest of your day more medic one give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe <laughs>